If you attempt to switch on the control panel and the screen does not respond, ensure that the power supply is correctly connected. If the power supply is connected, connect a multimeter to your battery to check you have voltage. As you can see here, the voltage is present. Next, check that the 5 amp fuse in the consumer unit is intact. Remove the boiler fuse and check to see that it's in good condition. If it needs to be replaced, replace it with a new one, otherwise return it to its slot. Now check the 12 volt connection to the boiler using the multimeter. Move the dial to select DC voltage for small electric circuits. Disconnect the 12 volt supply to the boiler and connect it to your multimeter. Take care to ensure you establish the correct connection with the positive and negative prongs. As you can see, we have 12.12 volts to the boiler, which is fine. Next, we'll remove the 3020 fuse. Check continuity across the fuse using the multimeter. Check the positive and negative fuse the same way on the 3010. Finally, we need to check the thermo fuse for continuity. Remember, it's always a good idea to have a spare cable and control panel when testing. On the reverse of the control panel, check the connections. Remove the cable and check it for damage or dirt. Also check the interior pins are straight and clear of dirt. Once completed, reconnect the cable. Check again to see if the control panel is working.